I said yes. I decided to be a doctor. Yes, yes, yes. That's fine. Um, and I eventually graduated medical school, but I also did uh, <coughs> a specialty not only in pediatrics, but infectious diseases and HIV. I went away to Miami and I learned about how to treat children with HIV. So I treat kids who have infections and specifically who have HIV. I work at the Children's Hospital in Montreal and I also have a clinic at the Saint Justin Hospital. I don't know if they look like Spears. And um, basically, I am here to tell you about an inspiring story. Of course, my team and I help save lives and help, uh, help children get better all the time. But there was one child that particularly changed uh, the way I see what it is to be a doctor. She was, uh, she is still alive. She's 12, she was 12 years old about 11 years ago, and she had AIDS. Uh, and do you know that there's 37 million people in the world that have AIDS right now, uh, or are infected with HIV? Having AIDS means that you have such bad HIV that you are almost dead. That's what AIDS means. Um, and uh, AIDS, or the virus that causes AIDS, destroys your immune system. So you cannot fight infections. You cannot fight cancers. Our immune system is very important for fighting these things. So if you have HIV or if you have AIDS, you can um, get very sick and die. So there's 37 million people in the world who are infected with HIV. The majority of them live in Africa. But we do see a lot of children and adults here as well. But you know what? There's a good story to all of this. Did you know that we are able to now, with the new medications that are, that are available to us to give to patients, that we are able to make these patients live and they will actually die of old age not of HIV anymore. The other, the other good thing that we are able to do is we're able to prevent mothers from infecting their babies when they are pregnant. And that is a major role reversal in how we see the transmission of HIV in the world. We've been able to stop it. The United Nations is, is looking forward to 2020 and in the mid-2020s to actually be able to eradicate HIV from this world. So let me tell you about my experience and how it humbled me as a doctor. This girl was 12 years old. She was dying. She didn't want to take any more medications. She was too tired. She hadn't been taking her medicines very well because she didn't like the taste of them before. And that caused her virus to become very resistant to every medication that was available at the time. At that time, I was a young junior doctor and I had gone to Florida to learn more about HIV. And I got an email from my colleague saying that she didn't want to be helped anymore and she just wanted to die. So I said, that's very sad because I really like this girl. And I said, I don't want her to die. I found out that there was a, two new drugs that were not even available on the market yet. And so when I came back, I wrote to the company and I said, please, can, we give, can you give us one out of the two that you have? Not only did they say, we will give it to you for free, we'll give you both new medications. Nobody else in the world ever, no other child her age ever in the world had taken that combination yet. My patient was the first patient in the world to ever be put on that medication. We actually put a hole it's called a G-tube, to feed her from her stomach and to actually put the medications directly in there because she couldn't, she didn't like the taste or whatever. They were pills and she couldn't swallow pills. She got so sick because she started getting an immune system. And why did she get sick? Because she was so infected with so many bacteria in her that were killing her, but she had no immune system to fight them back, so she just was sitting there dying. But once her immune system started coming back, it started attacking the bacteria and killing everything that's in there and destroying the HIV that was in her blood. And she felt sick because of it, but it was a good sick. Because after a few months, well, after a couple of years, she finally was able to remove this, able to take her pills properly, and she has to live with taking these pills for the rest of her life, but, as still she, but at least she's alive. And she is now 23, 24 years old, she is still going to the HIV clinic on the adult side, 
but she's alive and she's happy and she's got dreams. At 18 years old, when she graduated from my clinic to the adult clinic, she wrote me a card and she said, Merci de ne pas lâcher de me donner la chance d'avoir une vie. And this is, I'll never forget it, and this is what it means to me to be a doctor. Thank you very much.